Welcome back to Think Thrice Problem Solving. Today we're going to be solving a nice and fun little easy problem. Uh, so I think most people will be able to knock this one out. So let's go ahead and pause the video and try it yourself. Otherwise, we're going to jump straight into a solution. So what we're going to notice is we have an expression where we have the base raised to a power that's a function of that same variable in the base. So what do we do when we have that situation? Uh, typically what we do is we like to take a natural log to get that out of the exponent. So let's try that out. And so we're going to take the natural log of x ln of x equals the natural log of 2. Um, and x is restricted to positive numbers because we're taking ln of x, so no issue doing this here. Uh, when we do that, we can now pull this exponent out to the front, and we're going to get ln of x times ln of x is equal to ln of 2. So clearly we can see there's something nice that happens there. And what we're going to end up with is the natural log of x squared is equal to the natural log of 2. So now we just need to solve for ln of x. So let's go ahead and take the square root of both sides. We get ln of x is equal to the square root of ln of 2. And ultimately now we can take e to both sides of this expression. And we end up getting x coming out all by itself. So we get x is equal to, I'm going to write this nicely. I don't know why I'm writing all messy. So we have x is equal to e to the square root of the natural log of 2. And that is actually going to be our final answer to our problem. So I think hopefully a lot of you were able to figure that out. It's nice to get an easy one every once in a while. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have your own idea, please send it to thinkthriceproblemsolving at gmail.com. And as you're working through problems, think once, think twice, and if you really get stuck, think thrice.